Hello everybody, I am that role-playing ginger and we are back with another game of Talisman because it's been a while and I want to play some Talisman. Um, I'm gonna, again, just like last time, I'm only gonna play using the, uh, the expansions that I physically own in real life. I have them sitting on my shelf to my right. Um, I'm gonna use only those expansions and I'm not gonna include the dragon, uh, expansion stuff. I'm just gonna include the characters from the dragon because the dragon, to be honest, is... It, it it adds another layer of complexity to the game, which is fun sometimes, but I'm just looking for a nice, relaxing time, so I'm just gonna jump right in here. Got me and two AI players, just like always. And we're randomly choosing out of our, like, three. Got the Fire Wizard from the Dragon Set. I have the Exorcist from, I think, the DLC just for the, the digital game. We have the Doomsayer. Doomsayer is one that I got to play in as my, at the first, the first game that I recorded of this. Uh, whenever a character draws an enemy, you may replenish one fate, so it keeps my fate up like crazy. Strength and craft are decent. Uh, whenever a character draws an event, I can gain a spell if my craft allows, and whenever I draw an adventure card that is not an enemy or an event, I can draw an additional card. So that's really good. Um, what's the exorcist do? Let's check this guy out. Uh, you begin the game with a spell. He's got a 2, 4, 4, 4. Uh, when you attack another character, you may choose to make the attack psychic. Whenever you defeat a spirit, you gain a spell if your craft allows. Whenever you choose, to, or you may choose to automatically destroy any spirits without resorting to psychic combat. When you do, you don't get to keep a trophy or gain a spell. Uh, I can take objects that can be used by good characters. Um, and then let's check out the fire wizard. Uh, at the start of my turn, gain a spell. At the start of your turn, gain a spell. That's crazy! Every turn, I can use spells, basically. You may hurl a Pyroblast whenever you are about to engage in battle with a character or creature. Roll a die and add your craft. If the score is higher than the character's strength, they must lose one life. If the score is higher than one creature's strength, it is killed. Enemies killed may not be taken as trophies. Oh, okay, so I can basically try and burn. Um, if the score is equal or lower, the Pyroblast has no effect, and the battle is resolved normally, except you may not roll a die for your attack and you are not affected by a Dragon Breath attack. I'm gonna go with Doomsayer again, because Doomsayer was real fun. Who are you choosing? Conjurer? Yeah, Conjurer, and she's choosing a spell. Ooh, Cat Burglar, and Martyr. All right, so we got Conjurer, Martyrer, and then me just, Martyrer, and then me just, All right, so I'm going to roll the dice. Two, I'm gonna pop on over to this plains, or the hills. Drop a bunch of card. It is a Duskwood Wraith, it is a two. I feel like I can take it. It's a minus one, so I got this. I got this. Seven. It don't stand a chance. Victory is mine. End turn. Very nice. Nice strong start. Got myself a trophy already. Zakantra. Celestial Bobble. No evil character might have it when engaged in psychic combat. Something or another. And then the Martyr. Martyr's a character I have not seen yet. Oh, you're choosing to reroll. Already spending a fate. You could have gone to the woods. Ooh, they gained a spell. Everyone's got magics. My turn. Boom. Four. I don't want to go there, so I'm going to go here. I might go into the town. The town's got a lot of cool stuff. Craft five, so it's going to be a four versus my four. So this is actually going to be pretty even, but I do have some fate to re-roll if I need to. I'm hoping I get a six. That is a one. What are you going to roll? A three. So I need to use a fate and hopefully get a four or higher. Or another one. Why not? Why not? Might as well. But the uh, Doomsayer is definitely a character that I want to use fate on because it replenishes really quick compared to other characters. Drawing a bunch of card. A rune gate. Nice. There's runes over there too, so we have a now we now have a teleport to the runes over there, which means we can bypass the sentinel. And then she's moving the reaper and the werewolf. We got a werewolf at the graveyard. How original. Martyrs moving over to the Sentinel. Wheel of Fate. Very nice. Lose one fate. Uh, now she's even even with me. Rolls the dice. We got a two. Um, I don't want to go there, so I'll go to the town. 
Um, visit the doctor. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna try my hand at her. Uh, two. Lose one strength. I can't lose a strength because I'm at my base. I'm gonna use a fate to try and get uh, four or five. Oh, a six. I don't need spells. And I, I'm not a big spellcaster in this, which is weird, because I'm a spellcaster in almost everything else. Uh, bolster, gave yourself an uh, engage battle. Roll one die and add the result to your attack score. Oh, that's that's all right. I would like to go after that Crypt Keeper, but I don't think I get it as a trophy anyway. I think you get something else. Ah, uh, that's the good one. That gets two adventure cards. Boom! Gave me my fate back. Love it. I get to draw a spell. Nice. Ooh, hello. Not all doom and gloom. As the doom saver in one turn, replenish one fate and gain a spell. Nice! There are so many, like, little trophies and achievements for this game. Like, I can't remember. There's like a hundred or so, if I remember correctly. Alright, Martyr. It's nighttime now, so we gotta be careful. All the enemies now have plus one. But I think I'm gonna move into the town. Depends on where this dice gate takes me. I can go there, or I can move into town, or I can go down here. I'm gonna move into the town. I like going into the into the city. It's one of my favorite expansions for the game. A physician at the start of it's a follower at the start of your turn. Before you move, you may pay one gold to heal one life. Very nice. I'm gonna take that follower. Thank you very much. Another conjurer. Going to the mystic. Come on, one, six. Another spell for the Conjurer. The Martyr. Roll on a six. Gonna go to the Conjurer. Yep. They gonna fight? Yeah, they are. They're gonna battle with strength. I love the Conjurer's art, though. Look at that. It's so beautiful. There's a little bunny. I love it. I love it so much. Stealing a bag of gold. Oh, <laughs> the Conjurer won. All right, my turn. Uh, at the start of my turn, I am going to... I'm going to pay a gold. I'm going to pay a gold and heal one. Might as well. I don't think I could really buy anything for one gold exactly in here anyway. Three. Petra card. It is a wanted list. Draw four wanted posters and place them on this card when revealed. Once per visit, you may gain one wanted poster. Um... Ooh, I can go for the spirit. The thing is, I'm still not... I'm still... Now I'm weaker than the... Uh, the other one. The... What was it? The Crypt guy down here. Cause I'm pretty sure he's a spirit. But now he's a six. Ooh, I have a spirit, actually. I can go ahead and claim the bounty, because I have one in my trophy. Boom. Now I got me some money. End turn. Marked for glory spell. Rolling, you can add six to the die. Oh, they moved the Wheel of Fate to them. That's what it is. Okay. Martyr. Chasing that conjurer down again. They're going for another fight. This martyr is vicious. Your broken sword and your two arrows in your chest. You keep losing, too. That's the worst part about it. There you go. That's how you do it. Are you out for gold or blood? Oh, you're going for the bobble. That's what it is. The martyr wanted the bobble. Meanwhile, I'm just walking around the city. Causing a ruckus. Um, I want to go to the pet shop. Pet shop's really cool. The menagerie. Uh, two gold plus an additional one. So I'm gonna go here and buy a pet. Because pets are very good. Take a pet. I got glitter! A unicorn! You always have one less... You always have at least one spell, regardless of your craft. If at any time you do not have a spell, gain a spell. Nice. Not my favorite, but it's nice. Uh, moving one means the werewolf and the reaper are gonna move. And she probably wants revenge on the martyr. Is it daytime? Oh, no. Six. <laughs> Where's she sending it? Don't send it to me. 
Okay, she sent it after her. A five. Werewolf teleports. Damn it! Don't send it to me. Send it to her. <laughs> They're just fighting. They're duking it out. Leaving me alone in the city. <laughs> this is awesome. You become a lycanthrope, which is not a bad thing. Becoming a lycanthrope is a benefit to this game. It only means that there are certain endings that you can't achieve. And it means you can't try and steal from enemy players. These two are... I'm just gonna sit back and watch these two duke it out. They are mad at each other. I'm here for it. Conjurer wins again. Conjurer's definitely got the high ground here. One of your followers is killed. Oh, nope. Heal all your lives, replenish all your fate. Replenished fate. And then move in the Reaper. Move in the Werewolf. Yeah, just leave me leave me out of your guys' petty squabbling. Do we have an ending yet? The ending is hidden. Awesome. I love hidden endings. I do! We got the lottery! All characters roll one die. The character with the highest gains an amount of gold equal to their final die roll. Nice. I'm okay using fate for this. I wanna get a six. No, not a one. God damn it. Fine. Unless she even out. What happens if we all get twos? Nope. Of course. Give it to the martyr. Woe is me, give me my money. Another Wheel of Fate. Gain of Fate. It's daytime now, so I feel safer. Uh, attacking, going after that spirit. Still not guaranteed to win or anything, but definitely okay. Um, I do want to build up some money because there is a couple items, there are a couple items in the armory that I want to get. Level one. Draw a card. Uh, craft five. You may evade instead of attacking them. Ooh, I drew one, so I gained something. Uh, if you are defeated, do not lose a life. Instead, you are thrown in jail. Uh, they will remain here and kill killed. Um, craft five, and it's daytime? Yeah, it's daytime, so there are four versus my four. Gonna give it a try. Gonna give it a try. We're on even grounds right now. Okay, good. If they roll a six, then we're even. Yep, of course. Nothing bad happens, it's a draw. Oh, it was worth it. It's worth the try. Grim Reaper, where are we going? A one? Move you this way. Werewolf, where are we going? A three? You are going after the martyr. A three, one of your followers is killed. Are they gonna reroll? Yep. A six. Of course! They get all the sixes when they use their fate. Conjurer rolls a one, which means that both of those two are going to be moving again. The wolf would. Sending it to me? I didn't do anything to the Conjurer. What an asshole. Ha! 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 Six. I'm going to teleport to any other space in the region. I'm going to... Replenish my fate. That's what you get. Sending it after me? I didn't do anything to you, Conjurer. You're a jerk is what you are. Why did the werewolf move again? Oh, she's buying stuff. You don't need an axe. I mean, if you want the weapon damage, that's okay. But you don't need the axe. We have a rune gate here. We could teleport past the sun. No. Draw an adventure card. Crooked scales, whenever you encounter, this is a trinket. Whenever you encounter a card or space and pay a total of two or more gold, you pay one gold less. Nice, I wonder if that works for the armory. Reaper. Ah, uh, it's two, it's one off. Ah, uh, well. Conjurer got me all messed up. I'm going after her. I need to get this werewolf away from me. You get in a fight? Nope. Mystic. 
Four, become good. Good job. Goody two shoes. I'm neutral, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm neutral. I'm just over. I'm just walking through the city saying, "Doom, doom, doom. You're all doomed." And what's his name? Was it Crazy Eddie from uh, Friday Thirteenth? You're all doomed. I'm him. Just fighting the giant. Oh, that giant smacked her. Phantom did something or another. My turn. Ooh, a six. Very nice. Go back around the town. Square of Kings! Got a follower. If you land on a character, that character must either give you one gold or one object of their choice. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Oh, you're going into the dungeon? You're brave. A Mimic! I love the Mimic card. That is such a fun design. And it completely destroyed her. Because you burned your fate on movement. Don't burn your fate on movement. Rookie mistake right there, Condra. Rookie mistake. Alright, Martyr, what are you doing? Are you going after the Conjurer? Nope, going after the Mimic. Using an axe, that'll help because it's now you're now two higher, I believe. And she lost. You two are not doing well at all. Another six, very nice, big money. Uh, but I don't want to go there. I don't want another wanted list item. Oh, that's another one. Uh, six fates in. The inn will remain here for the rest of the game. You may either roll one die with the same results as the tavern or buy a water bottle from a purchase deck for one gold. Alright, I'll encounter this. Fine, I'll go ahead and do the spirit again. And again, gold equal to the amount of trophy points you just card from the enemy spirits. And then I'll encounter this. I'm gonna roll the dice. Um, I hope that it's two, four, five... Hey, five. Teleport me in to go anywhere to the region. Very nice. You guys realize that some of the biggest and scariest creatures are in this part of the... In this expansion, right? <laughs> like, you know that, right? Craft of nine because you're good. There is no way. Ain't no way. Oh, you got... You got smacked. You two are just getting the life kicked out of you. Don't you send the werewolf towards me. You better send that thing out of here. Oh, you bastard. I didn't do anything to you, Conjurer. Why are you coming after me? Magic portal spell. Very nice. Rolls a three and goes to the city. Oh, don't come into the city. I'm in here doing stuff. Leave me alone. Go to the doctor. Pay your gold that you took from my lottery. You joik. Just in here trying to make an honest living. Trying to find things to fight, but it's just strangers and everything. Roll one die. If the result is equal to or higher than your craft, discard one of your objects. If it's lower than your craft, take one card from any shop deck for free. Okay, so I need a... Uh, it's equal to or higher. Okay, so I basically have like a 50-50 shot here, but I have a, I have fate. Yes! Oh, I love it. I'm going to go to the armory deck because I want a free... Is it the flail? Two dice. Yep. That's what I want. Boom. <laughs> that's, that's what I was saving my money for because it lets me roll two dice. The Wheel of Fate! An apparition. Very nice. Now I'm gonna try and get out of here and go fight that Crypt Keeper. Because then I can sell it for. I can get rid of it for. Um, five gold, or I can keep it as a trophy. Well, no, I can't. I don't think I get it as a trophy. Oh, I don't think I. I don't think that'd be worth it at all. End of turn. Let's do it. Okay, now you got him with the Reaper and everything. 
One of these days, I do intend on, like, going through and painting all of my minis for Talisman, because I love them. There are some, um, it's specifically in the Hinterlands expansion that I noticed. And it's, they're, they're very flimsy in comparison. I don't know what the deal is with that. Like, most of them are sturdy as a rock, and they're amazingly well-crafted plastics and all that kind of stuff. But there were some in the Hinterlands expansion specifically that I remember, where they're very flimsy, the plastic is super thin. Uh, yeah, might as well move the one. Uh, so I'm not, not a big fan of that, even though I do like the Hinterlands expansion itself. I just feel like they maybe, like... I don't, I don't know what top, like what order the expansions all came out in, but if that one was maybe like the first one, then they didn't have... Well, it's a revised version, so they had the money. I don't know. Pay one gold, take one card from any shop, then roll one die. I don't have any gold, unfortunately. Uh, so I need to roll the dice. Oh, I don't even get to do it at all. Reaper. It's a four, so I'm going to send you that way. Lycanthrope! I'm gonna send you that way. See, I'm doing good. I'm I'm back to I'm back to gold. I'm all I'm all good. And they're wait they're having to spend stuff to get back up to green. They both have one extra thing. They have a, a strength and a craft above me, but I have a special weapon. Ooh, a Hydra. Oh, that art. Art's beautiful. Oh, she beat the Hydra. Now she has to roll a die. Rolls a two, it regenerates. Nope. I love Hydras. Hydras are so cool. It was the first creature I ever defeated in Dungeons and Dragons. Because uh, my buddy, who was the DM at the time, really wanted me to have a nice, fun experience that I would remember. And so he... He basically... And I know he did this in hindsight. He's never guaranteed. He's never verified it or anything, but I know he did it. He basically gave it a little more hit points so that I would be the one to land the finishing blow, which is very, very sweet. All right, I should be okay. I have a seven. It needs to roll a five or higher, and it rolled a six. Of course, it rolled a six. I'm gonna use a fate to re-roll a die because I just need to get a four or higher. Of course, I can't win. I can't win! It's the point of using fate. Every time I use fate, it goes badly. And I am the fate-based character. My character's whole shtick is spam fate because you will keep getting it back from the other player's turns. <laughs> See, I just got it back. <sighs> Crawling slime. Now, one of the creators of this game told me on Twitter, in one of my posts, that the dice roll, how the dice roll, it's not coming after me. And I'm gonna have to trust that individual when they said that it was not coming at me. <sighs> what are you doing? Get out of my city. Pay three gold, choose one character, don't you dare. You don't have gold. Ha! That's what you get. Oh god, I can't move at all. Keep rolling ones. Venture card, a trinket. You do not lose life in the desert. Ooh, a bristine. Let me discard the steam to gain one life. I will take it. Time to roll for Reaper. A four. Moving that up that way. And then Lycanthrope. A six. I'm going to have the Lycanthrope go into the jail. <laughs> put, I put the werewolf in jail. <laughs> I love it. I love this game so much. I don't know why, I don't know really, I don't, I don't know. I love board games, I've always loved board games like my entire life. She auto lost. I've always loved board games, but there's something, there's something about the talisman whole, <laughs> the whole setup that I'm just absolutely smitten by. And I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know. It, it does everything for my imagination that I love. Rolls the dice. Cool, I made it to the entrance again, finally. End turn. I don't know. This this evokes in me... The, the Talisman game invokes in me the same sense that I remember having the first time I ever got into Magic the Gathering when I was younger. 
stuff like that where I was just mainly looking at the pictures and being like, ah, oh, and just like imagining the stories and worlds and all that. And the game of Talisman just it has that on it has my brain trapped in that kind of sensation, and I really love it. It's a nostalgic kind of feeling. Don't you dare. Oh, you better not. Okay, it's you. I thought you were moving the werewolf. A haggler. Trade with the character. I don't want to trade with the character, though. I have items I don't want anyone else to get. God damn it! Keep rolling ones! Um, Discarding any number of objects you have and gain one gold for each. Now I'm going to go to the Enchantress and hopefully not roll one! A five! I gain a strength! Perfect. Where's my where's my item? It gives me a roll two. Where is it? Yeah, I roll two dice during battle and add them together. If I roll doubles, then the opponent does not get to add their attack score. That's why it's such a good, ooh, such a good card to have. It's one of the best weapons in the game, I believe. All right, werewolf one, boink, go after the martyr. If, ever, if the conjurer's coming after me, I'm going after the martyr. She rolled a one, became a lycanthrope. Lucky her. Except that it's daytime. Which means I could probably go fight her right now and beat her, because I have I get to roll two dice. She'll have one strength on me, because she has a minus one right now, because it's daytime, but she has an axe that she'd likely use. But I could go fight her, she'd have one on me, but I'd have two dice. And then if I roll doubles, she doesn't even get to add her attack score. She just has to roll dice. Oh, the Water Elemental. That's the title one. Oh, it's so beautiful. That art is my favorite of the expansion arts, is the uh, the city one, because it's this picture, and it's so cool looking. Beautiful, beautiful artwork for Talisman. My turn. Three. Where am I going? Uh, we got hills and plains and plains, so I'm going to go here. Hopefully fight something. Yay, a spirit. That'll help me. Oh, and the crypt one. Uh, oh, because it brings all of them over there. Crap. All right, so we have minus one. We have six minus two because it's daytime. They both get a minus one, which means four. So it's four versus four. Yeah. I can do this, though. I can bolster if I need to. Um, I'm going to just trust fate again. Even though I probably shouldn't. Yes! Fate worked in my favor this time! I got both of those. Ooh, I only got to choose an object. Uh, the Sun Shield, if you're defeated in battle, roll one die. It's day, you may add up to three to score. One to five, lose normal. Roll a six, no. Um, is that the only object? That is the only object. So I might as well take it. Who knows, maybe that'll distract people from trying to come after my flail. Uh, claim bounties. Or to claim... Um, it's five gold. I don't really need gold right now anymore because I got the weapon that I wanted. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that. One gold, it'll be fine. It gives them if if another player comes and hits me, that's another option for them to take instead of my flail. If they want gold, they want blood, or they want an item, I now have multiple items they can take. Displacement. Move any face of adventure from the board and move it to the same region. Very nice. You going deeper into there? No, she's getting out of there. I was like, you really don't. Some of the biggest and scariest creatures in Talisman that I've ever seen are in the dungeon. I mean, the end of the dungeon is amazing. The night you get to fight and everything, and what you do is, like, if you beat it, you immediately go into, like, the center board. It's awesome. So if you get yourself strong enough, that is a great way to just bypass the outer and inner regions. A six! Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't want to go to the thing. What's over here? That is the Vassal of Darkness. I would like to see what the Vassal of Darkness... Uh, if I'm e it has a craft of three if you're evil, craft of six if you're neutral, craft of nine if you're good. So it does have more craft than me because I am neutral, so I'm not going there. I would like to go here. Draw adventure card. Another follower, a lost soul. Oh, that's so pretty. After you visit a chapel or graveyard, you may discard the lost soul to gain one strength, craft, life, fate, or 
spell if your craft allows it. Nice. So I need to take this guy. I'm gonna. It's just like in Legend of Zelda. Um, um, Link's Awakening. I gotta take my little ghost friend to the graveyard. I don't want to go to the chapel. No, we're going to the graveyard. You don't take your ghost friend to a chapel. That's just you basically telling it to go go die again. You take it to a graveyard so it can rest in peace. Got themselves a talisman. Very nice. And a wheel of fate. You're not looking too good. You got two health left, Conjurer. You're probably going to want to heal up. A stranger spendthrift. Place that much gold on the card. Once per visit, you may take two gold. Do one more turn, then we'll call it for this video. No, I don't want to go to the chapel. I'm going to go in here just to avoid the chapel, because I don't want to drop off the ghost. A lodestone. Crap. Counts as two objects. So you're carrying limit. If you visit the alchemy of the city, you can sell it. Alright, so now I have a reason to go back to the city, too. Deeper into the dungeon. You brave fool. A tinker imp. And I got myself a fate back. <clears throat> See, that's why I like the, Doom, the Doomsayer. Doomsayer is the one that's always going to be... Um, always going to be useful for fate. You get, you get the dice reroll all the time in this game. Which a lot of times doesn't seem to be working in my favor, but it is what it is. Trading trophies, very nice. The craft is getting scary compared to mine, and especially compared to the martyrs, but your HP is down low. Black market, oh black market, gonna take the black market. Six, she is safe. All right. One! Ow. Venture card. Ooh, craft seven! And it's daytime, so it'll be a craft six. This ain't gonna be good. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, where's my... Oh, it's because it's craft, that's right. All right, I was gonna use my flail, but I'm like, I can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my bolster card. Roll one die and add the result to my attack score. Anybody gonna try and counter it? Nope, good. A three, all right, which means my craft is now a seven versus its six. Now I have a shot. All right, we're at 11. Yes, defeated an ice elemental. I just got myself a craft bonus. Hell yeah. Trade trophies. Give me that craft. Boom, four or five. Looking good, looking good. We will continue this on in the next episode. So thank you all for being here for this. I'm having a good time, having a good time. It's been a long time since I played this. The last time I played this, I think was the night that I went with my coworkers to go see, well, coworkers and former coworker to go see, uh, talk to me. And so it's been a while because that was like a month or two ago. But yeah, I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys next video. So until then, everybody, peace out.